Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lightning, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes, the essential prologue to the upcoming Phantom Pain, which will be released sometime later on this year. Um, I'm going to just play this game. Let's see. So, uh, just for just for the fun, you know, just gotta go through some weird shenanigans. Um, you know, I'm missing two missions over here, and I gotta do a lot of other stuff here. Um, so we're just gonna kind of go through everything. <laughs> At least try and go through everything without failing. Although, that's, that's most likely not gonna happen because I am terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible at being sneaky, sneaky. So, we're just gonna... We're just gonna try and do these missions and and hope I don't get myself killed. It is currently 8:47 p.m. on a Tuesday night. I actually am gonna record this as a upcoming, I guess, series because um, being a huge Metal Gear Solid fan, I want to actually. Do like a commentative walkthrough of all of the Metal Gear Solid, like console games at least. So like one, two, three, four. Um, Peace Walker actually counts since um, it they got the HD collection for Xbox 360, which I have. And surprisingly, I never actually went through uh, Peace Walker. Uh, the gameplay for that game was a little bit weird compared to like Metal Gear Solid 3. And they just made the game super bizarre. So I just said to myself, like, screw it, I'll just not, you know, I'll put it away and come back to it eventually. Um, but, you know, I'm so amped for for, P, uh, for Phantom Pain to come out that I, I really can't miss out on that game. And, you know, Peace Walker technically serves as like a uh, prequel to this upcoming game. And, you know, I technically have no idea what happens. Um, during Peace Walker. I mean, I know that there's like another Metal Gear and they like go through like Cuba and all that other fun stuff, but um, I really don't remember what exactly happened. Um, so I'm gonna go through this just for fun. And what I'm thinking about doing is just playing through the uh, previous Metal Gears. So, you know, I'll probably start off with one and then work my way to two, then three, and you know, go in like consecutive order. Um, and then basically just lead it up to this game again. I'll play through the um, you know, I'll play through the main mission again. Um, even though I haven't played it in a while, I kind of forgot exactly what that mission was. You know, like what you to do and whatnot. Um, I know you gotta like rescue like the two people, uh, like Chico and Paz, and. They have some relevance to um, Peace Walker, but I don't remember the storyline for that game. I actually don't even know it, <laughs> so um, we're probably gonna have to like go through that again, just so I can get like a better sense of what's gonna happen. Because it, it'll help me out figuring out the story and everything if I go through Peace Walker and then jump back on this, because then it'll be like, oh, like I understand, like that's what happened. That's why this person died, and you know all that fun shenanigans. Um, one thing that I'm really looking forward to is, um, you know, just kind of going through everything. And normally I have some kind of good success when I play Metal Gear. I say normally because it happens like half the time. You know, there's like a 50% chance that I will succeed at, um, you know, making it through the game without, <laughs> without messing up too much. But that's like, you know, 50%. Other times I just... Just the worst possible things could happen to me. You know, people see me when they shouldn't see me, or like, you know, I I can't even describe it. Just like, it just sucks. I forgot how to play this game. Okay, um, what's that landing zone? No, I'm looking for the there's a there's an achievement in this game. I'm actually gonna try and go for those as well, since um, that's since they uh, actually add on to the replayability for just games in general. Um, there's a prisoner somewhere that I gotta find before I can even plant those, you know, the C4 under the anti-air emplacements. And I actually haven't played this game enough to really remember exactly where he would be at. 
So we're just gonna we're just gonna, you know, play it by by everything. You know, ears, mouth, nose, eyes and, and whatnot. Hopefully I don't I don't <laughs> I don't mess up too bad, but you know. Sometimes you just gotta just take one for the team. Okay. Um oh man, I forget that there's like cameras on these walls sometimes. And they somehow just randomly get me. Like this one over there. And I'm pretty sure if I try and shoot it, the guy's gonna be like, oh, there's a, there's a camera that's not working. Go check it out. And then, you know. I thought that See, I. I get paranoid when I play this game. It's like the worst. Oh, shoot. Paranoia sometimes is your friend. What? You didn't see me. Where's the... Here it is. Thank goodness for that fence. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, I can't climb walls. Climb snake! There we go. So how is how's everybody's day doing? You know, mine's uh, decent. I was on Amazon.com. It's like my go-to place of buying everything. Finally got my equipment, microphone and everything. Now I can do all the good recordings and play all the bootlegged and fun games. Um, I really want to start off by playing uh, Tomb Raider, the definitive edition. I really, really enjoy Tomb Raider. I might even play all the games. Um, I've got Legend Underworld and the Anniversary. And they're very fun games. I really enjoy them. Except for like sometimes there's like a moment in time where you try and jump something, and you just can't do it, and you know you just watch Laura fail. Um, I really want to start off by uh, I really want to start a YouTube channel. Honestly, that's kind of why I bought all the equipment that's necessary to making it, and it's coming in tomorrow essentially. And uh, I kind of hope that it becomes a success. I think it'd be really cool. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, gain like 5 million followers, but, you know, just some people to watch me act like a moron, <laughs> as much as I enjoy watching myself do the same thing. But yeah, um, I really want to start playing games that I enjoy playing as a series, rather than just playing because, you know, everybody else plays it. But I mean, like, everybody's played, like, you know, every game, so... I'm pretty sure there's at least one game of each kind recorded and everything. Um, I'm going to be doing like full commentative walkthrough. Well, not necessarily walkthroughs. I'm not really trying to 100% uh, complete stuff unless it's like a possibility of doing so without it being too much of a hassle. Um, but I'm not going to like, like when I start Tomb Raider, I'm not going to try and purposely find all the relics. I mean, if I can, then I'll, then I'll try, but... Um, if it's a very difficult feat, then, uh, yeah, you'll probably just watch me fail through the game miserably because I will die a lot. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Um, I'll probably do the same thing with this game because, you know, I have to play through this game and S everything, and that just sounds, like, annoyingly hard. Um, I can barely, you know, get by on normal. And... I really don't know what to do. I mean, I want to play this game without causing so much error because, um, you know, getting S in the missions are like the potential. It's like what I want to try and do, but there's no guarantees. <laughs> there are absolutely no guarantees. That guy's still awake? Can you fall asleep? Nope, I missed. I shot that guy like, I, th I want to say five or six times or something like that, and he's still alive. How do I, uh... Find the locations of the targets on your iDroid. You only need to take out three of them. How do you, I, I know you can first person. Is it, oh, nope, it's not A. It's not B. It's not Y. Uh, I, I don't want to try and press all the buttons, and then this guy's like, Hey, who's that over there pressing all these buttons? And then, you know, he catches me and whatnot. Um, but I'll put him to sleep. That'll help out. If I can hit him. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so there's a camp over there where 
there are usually prisoners, but knowing me and my luck in this game, there's a very high chance that I will not find the prisoner because usually I have like the worst luck with that thing. And I completely forgot that there's cameras and they can find me at any moment in time. Oh, I hate cameras in this game. Like, why does technology get so advanced in the 1960s? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, this this thing that he's got, it shouldn't be able to do that, but it, it can. I mean, it's cool, but, like, let's be realistic here. That thing shouldn't be existing. But then again, I can't complain, because it's a pretty sweet piece of technology. Okay. Can I shoot at the fence? I can. Not bad. Can I, can I catch you one? Nope. Oh, damn it. Okay, get closer, get closer. There we go. Okay, 17 rounds. I got this. I just really, I really don't want to have somebody just pop up, up, you know, on my ass and just be like, hey. Like, I, I literally hit the panic button 40 times when I find out that there's somebody right behind me that I just don't see. Can I get the focus? Okay. Um, I really gotta find this prisoner. Is he gonna be? I don't remember. If he's like an executed prisoner, or if he's just like chilling in this in this uh area. Well, there's one guy. Oh, and there's that guy. Is there any more prisoners in here? I don't think so. I can't. Oh, there's one other one. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, let's kind of remove some of these threats. If I can. Nope. Don't move, don't, stop. Hey, what the? You know what, I'm gonna wait it out. Maybe he'll just fall asleep. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and get that guy from a distance. Oh. Man, my accuracy is just terrible. I mean, I can't really kid myself. This game has some very interesting bullet drop, um, which is actually a new mechanic in this game, which I really enjoy because that whole binocular trick is gone. And while I've never personally used it, I've just known that it, that thing helps cheat death on so many levels. These guys are just chilling. You guys don't want to take a permanent dirt nap? You know, for me? Really? Please? Nope, he's still awake. This guy just like took it like a champ. Let me see. Nope. They're gonna go lower. They're gonna go higher. I don't even know. I'm at like ten rounds, and that guy's still awake. They're both still awake. Okay, they're still awake. That helps. Okay, let's like. Oh, there he goes. He's out now. Oh, where's he going? Okay, he's running. I don't like that. Where's he going? Um. I don't know, but I don't want to find out. What? What did you see? You couldn't have seen anything, honestly. Okay, okay. I'm ready for you. I'm gonna just pop up and just... Bam, headshot. Oh, okay. That reflex thing makes me so happy. I can't even tell you how many times I've been saved because of the fact that the game slows me down. Okay. There should be... I think there's like one guy over there somewhere. And there's another guy by the booth. Um, before I even begin to... Oh. <laughs> I saw... Shut the hell up! Don't tell anybody! Stop asking for help! I'll get you in a minute! I just gotta make sure that it's safe so I can carry you safely without getting, you know, caught. Help me. You better quit your damn complaining. Oh, wow, I opened that pretty fiercely. Okay, there's another guy there. There's. I thought that was a guy too. Um, let's see, there's one, two, and there's three. I think that's it though. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Let me go grab this guy. I wish I could just fast forward this moment right now because I guarantee you that I'm going to take, you know,